Uh, here's another interesting piece of video. A 13-year-old girl went to an Australian rules football game, okay? And during the game, she, um, she, she basically yelled that Adam Goods, who is an indigenous, an, uh, an indigenous player, uh, was, was an ape, yelled out that he's an ape. And as the player walked by, ran by, he heard the little girl, and he pointed her out and said, this girl just made this comment, and the girl was kicked out. This actually happened. It's caught on video. Take a look at this. All right, let's see if we can get it going. Here. So this is the girl being spoken to, and then she's getting up. She seems visibly upset. And then as you'll see, it'll go back to the video of Adam Goods walking, kind of running by her, and then hearing the comment being called an ape, and then coming back over to her. So here's Adam Goods. And here's the replay. He's run, he runs right by her. She clearly yells something. He turns around. He points at her. He tells security, you've got to get this little girl out of here. 13 year old girl calling the indigenous player an ape. So afterwards, this girl actually called to apologize and the, called uh, Adam Goods to apologize. And the interesting thing is that, well, number one, Adam Goods kind of understands what, what's going on here, right? He says, to come to the boundary line and hear a 13 year old girl call me an ape, and it's not the first time on a footy field that I've been referred to as a monkey or an ape. It was shattering. However, he said, unfortunately, it's what she hears in the environment she's grown up in that has made her think it's okay to call people names. It's not her fault. She's 13. She's still so innocent. I don't put any blame on her. Um, a 13-year-old. can, If a 13-year-old thinks it's okay to yell racist stuff at a Australian rules football game, are they at all to blame, or at that age, is it clearly the result of their environment? Um, no, I would say it's still clearly the result of their environment. Um, and at, at that age, you can still snap out of that easily by the time you are what we would refer to as an adult. Right. Yeah. Natan, what do you think about that? I mean, there's, at what point can we say that if, we, if there's a five-year-old, it's very clear, right, that if they repeat, if they swear in the same way that they repeat a racist term— it's because they heard it from someone else. They don't even understand what it means. 13, the line is a little more blurry. 22, we could say, well, this person has the capability to decide for themselves what does and doesn't make sense. Where's the line for you? What age is the line? The truth is that uh, even a 50-year-old can change the way they think uh, about these matters. Uh, I, I think that this it was good to throw this person out because now it's it's made international news and people are talking about it, and that will make it less likely to be acceptable at games. But uh, I don't think that there's any age where you stop being able to change your prejudice. Imagine if at a Red Sox-Yankees game, everybody who yelled something racist, bigoted, or homophobic was thrown out. We'd well, all of a sudden have a lot of empty seats, wouldn't we? I, I think so. Yeah. yeah. Let's take a break. Dennis Campbell will be with us next, and then a lot more stuff to talk about. Glad you're with us. Giving away free T-shirts with membership davidpackman.com slash summer13 only going on for a few days check it out stay with us we'll be back right after this the david pacman show at davidpackman.com 